okay? Oh yeah, I forgot to say something really important. Unfortunately, it seems like I can't use my magic here. So don't rely on me like usual, okay? I don't recall ever relying on you in the past. Hey all you cool cats, this is Mina and welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. <laughs> I see. I'm not as strong in this world. I'm guessing because it's programmed like that for the killing game simulator. They want to see what kind of killing game it'll be when no one has their special talent. That's probably the reason. Uh, objects won't break. That may seem convenient at first, but I feel like it's going to end up being a problem. <laughs> you think? This is going to make one really confusing murder, I can already tell. That's right. We gotta make sure we know how this world works. Let's go after Mew and check the map. That not good. No, if Gonta not strong, Gonta no can protect everyone. Hey, who Gonta gotta talk to get strong again? See? You guys had better not cheat by logging out alone. We have to find out the secret of the outside world. Hmm. We are receiving too much information after the fact. I feel somewhat deceived. But if the secret of the outside world is really here, we can't turn back now. I wasn't deceived. <laughs> Maybe you guys were. That being said. No, during the map I prepared for you guys. Not yet, and you'll know the virtual world like Smoogie knows the back of her neck. Why? Huh? What about the back of my neck? How did you know that spot's sensitive? Okay. O okay, I see the back of your neck, huh? Why are you so interested in that? You're gross. <laughs> Thought so. <laughs> I'm not trying to act like Tenko or anything, but guys really do fantasize about that a lot. Or is it? Yep. Okay, 100% confirmed. I wanna. Okay, so I wondered if I was maybe jumping to conclusions, but no. She's definitely. She's definitely got a thing for him. This building is bigger than I thought. Looks like it's got a few different rooms. Alright, let's look at this map. There are two maps posted here. One big and one small. Oh, look at the ladder. Alright. This map has mansion written on it. You know! This is the map to the mansion, which is the building we're in right now. This area is the entrance hall, and that room with the phone is the salon. The dining hall, kitchen, and bathroom are also on the first floor. There's no second floor, but I do see a rooftop area. The rooftop, huh? I guess that'll give us a good view. Let's go check it out later. Okay. Yeah, good idea. But before we do, I should look at this big map as well. Okay, is this outside? Looks like the map of the entire virtual world. Piece of shit! This nope, Saint Ed. Make sure you remember everything about this world. Uh, um, it looks pretty expansive. It even continues past that river. Is this an ellipsis here? Showing that it continues? Ah. Yeah, I'll tell you what that sign means later. You'll understand once you actually go there. What do you mean by that? Oh. Ah, there's another building here. Sure. Yeah, it's just a dinky chapel. There's a cluttered mess in there. A lot of stuff, huh? Maybe the secret of the outside world is hidden in there. By the way. Oh, I just noticed. There are black lines drawn around the world map. Uh oh, oh okay, I see it. But does that mean something? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not immune to notice. Of course it means something. 
This black line represents a wall. Huh? A wall? Booyah! Oh yeah, the virtual world is actually surrounded by a huge ass wall. It can't be. Surrounded by a wall? Are we trapped? Even in this world? You know. No, you're not trapped here. Beyond that wall is the end of the world. Literally. Past that wall, nothing exists. Everything ends there. Which means... I see. So that wall is the end of the world. By the way, Mew, you prepared these maps yourself. Not Monokuma, right? <laughs> That's right. I'm preparing the maps. What about it? Um, no, it's nothing. I just wanted to know. There's something off about Mew's response. Hey, hey. We should be focusing on the more important issue right now. Please. Yeah, where in the world is the secret of the outside world is hidden? <coughs> yeah, where in this world the secret of the outside world is hidden? But it's gonna be pretty hard to find something when we have no clue what we're looking for. Got a minute? Where do you think you're going? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was gonna go investigate alone. There's a lot of interesting stuff I wanna check out. What? <laughs> like hell, I'm gonna let you do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Whatever I want? No way! Why do I need your permission, Kaito? I'm free to do whatever I want. I'm going, no matter what you guys say. Well, it'd be a hassle if someone kept watch over me. Uh. Kept watch? Allow Gota. Gota not understand what's going on. Gota not sure how helpful he can be. But Gonta can watch Kokichi so he not do anything weird. <laughs> He's manipulating him. What are you planning? Gunta, you're so sweet. I knew you'd say that. Even without your ridiculous physical strength, as long as you're selfless and courageous, you'd make a terrific bodyguard. Bodyguard? Hey, With you by my side, I know I'll be safe from any trap. Okay then, let's go. Wait! Oh, wait, Kokichi. It's okay. Hit okay, leave it to Gonta. Gonta keep an eye on Kokichi. What? Bodyguard? You mean Gonta? Oh yeah. It seems he planned this all along. Jeez. Jeez, he really knows how to manipulate people. Well, whatever. Let's go check out the rooftop. Booyah! Oh, you ain't following me. You want to peek at my skirt while you're at it? Go for it. I keep wanting to... Oh, whoa. This is the bathroom. Do avatars have to go to the bathroom? That's a good question. It's normal toilet paper. I don't see anything suspicious about it. But in a world where nothing breaks, does toilet paper not tear either? Do avatars have to use the bathroom? If so, this is an important question. only interact with the stuff that, that sparkles, I take it. Oh, a strange clock. Is this Muse taste? No, it can't be. This world was originally created by Monokuma. Alright, let's go upstairs. What an unnecessary hallway. Uh, another unnecessary hallway. <laughs> hmm. Snow? There's snow here. Whoa, it's snow! Look, Maki Roll! It's snow! Look, snow! Yeah, right? 
not only can you feel the cold, but you can feel the pain and pleasure too. In fact, you don't even need to use birth control here. Hey, try to be quiet, please. I feel like the more you talk, the more I'll dislike you. That's right. <laughs> My world. How about we start by exploring the rooftop? Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, let's look through this. Mounted binoculars? <laughs> Man, I think like you got a lot of experience with binoculars. <laughs> You're such an obvious peeping Tom. Experience with binoculars? What does that mean? You can see pretty far with these mounted binoculars. I mean, duh, they're binoculars. Feel free to look around with them. Get a good look at everything. Is this important? the dust dusty bridge hmm? binoculars can't see past here oh. ah is this where the line on the map was you know I told you in not a nine then then what is it binoculars stop there. <laughs> Aggressive men are always coming and going and coming too soon. I'll explain it to you when we get there, so don't get your panties in a bind. What is she talking about? What could be over there? This looks like a storage room. I suppose I should check inside. Seem as though there's anything of interest in here. And in any case, I rewrote the program to delete all the dangerous objects that could be used as weapons. Well, I don't see anything that could be used as a weapon. Besides, this is a simulator, right? You won't actually die, right? Oh, you'd like to think that. Perhaps because all the weapons were deleted, the shelves are empty. Thing here is an empty box and some lattice. Old up carpet, huh? It does look safe. Hmm. Well, did you manage to examine all the places that caught your eye? Well, yes, but there weren't too many points of interest. Uh, uh, it's really cold. I didn't think it'd be snowing. Nice, Yumiko. That means if you trip and hit your head, it won't hurt. Don't be rude. I'm not the type to trip that often. Uh, that was... That's way too cliched of a gag. Jeez. Snow in a mansion. How ominous. <sighs> Great job, Killing Game Simulator. Great job, Killing Game Simulator. But you know... But we're not leaving any footprints in it. What's up with that? That's true. It was probably programmed like that. It'd be easy to find the culprit from the footprints. Ah! You don't look that way, but you don't need to worry about it. It's just a simulation, and there's no dangerous items here whatsoever. Let's go outside. We can cross that river and head to the chapel. But, you know. but how do we cross that river? I don't remember seeing any bridges. <laughs> Jeez, you're so fucking stupid. You're approaching some Vontar territory. Let's just go over there so I can explain it to you idiots all at once. Uh, be thankful. Be thankful. Hmm. Kibo, is something wrong? Well, I was just looking at that wall and I started to think about what Mew said about how nothing exists beyond that wall. 
And then I started to think about the wall that surrounds the academy. Oh no, never mind. Forget what I just said. Well then. We should get going. If we're late, Mew will chew us out with vulgar profanities. Yeah, she will. I know what he was hinting at, but... Is it really gonna be like that? The entire world is non-existent beyond the walls? God. Things went so wrong. I'm shivering. I'm worried. This river is flowing quite fast. If you fell in, it might just wash you away. Hmm. It's really piled up outside. Kaido would be excited for all the snow. I bet he would make a snowman or something. How dare you call me stupid? How the heck are we supposed to cross this without a bridge? When can you tweet at time? Hurry up and come on me. Or, I mean, come with me. Hurry up. What do you want me to do? Look at this. There's no bridge at all. How are we supposed to cross the river now? Just so you know, my magic doesn't work in this world. Tony, do we have to swim? Yeah. Fine, I won't tell you, because you can't go in the river in the virtual world. Huh? Then, should we use something as a boat? Fucking moron! Jeez, you're not even trying to hide your stupidity. Just tell us! The river's current is too fast. A boat would get swept away easily. What? So we need a bridge then, right? Listen up! I told you, we already got a bridge! a wider river downstream that connects to this one. Next to it, there's a long signboard that says Mariah Hills. Apparently it was meant for the mansion, but we can use it as a makeshift bridge. Well then. So we just need to get that signboard. <laughs> yeah, but I'll ask the masochist to go get it. He just loves being bossed around. Luigi, go get the signboard. Huh? What? what? Me? Jeez. Yeah, go get the signboard. Why? Huh? Hmm. Yeah, you're a total masochist. Huh? Huh? Wait a minute. Do you all think that about me? <laughs> Just to make it special, I want you to get it while you crawl like a dog. I think I'll walk normally, thank you. Ah. Mariah Hills. This is a signboard, it says Mariah Hills. Alright! I just need to grab this and head back to the others. Piece of shit! Hey, I thought I told you to crawl like a dog! Be thankful, be thankful. <sighs> Please take the signboard. No. You actually thought I'd be on all fours? <laughs> Whatever, quit wasting time and lay the signboard across the river. Uh, okay. Alright then. Sure. See, it fits perfectly. We have ourselves a bridge now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna walk over this shabby looking signboard. It's definitely gonna break. Moron. Your brain must be smaller than your dicks. I told you, objects don't break in this world. I see. Oh, so even this crappy signboard can be a sturdy bridge in this world, huh? Listen up! This signboard's the only bridge we've got, so don't fuck it up and let it get washed away. This signboard gets washed away by the river, we won't have a bridge anymore. Oh, that's ominous. Stop it. Right already. Sheesh. You're so annoying. Oh? Huh? There's a bridge! Oh, thank God! I gave up when I realized I had no way to cross the river. <laughs> Where were you and what were you doing? Um... Oh, I was in the forest over there looking for the secret of the outside world. But unfortunately I couldn't find it. Well, I wasn't expecting it to be that easy anyway. 
Right, Gonta? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. It's more convenient when we're all together anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you mean convenient? N nothing. Uh, whatever. Let's just cross the river. Hurry up and get over here, guys. It's too late to head back now, okay? Do we have to watch this animation? Yeah, that was stressful. But the thing about objects not breaking was true. You know. That's what I've been singing! Hey! Can we just be on the wavy line drawn on the map? Ah. You'll find out if you keep going forward. Why don't you check it out? This is disconcerting. What's that? What? What was that? What just happened? Is it like a screen transition and then we're all like, oh my god. <laughs> For a second it felt like I lost consciousness and everything went black. And now I'm here. Nope. It didn't happen to our bodies, but it happened to this world. Huh? What do you mean? But, but that is an accurate description. As if the world itself switched over. You're right! Could it be loading? <laughs> correct! I mean, uh, erect! Oh my. You said the right word the first time. That being said. Anyways, Four Eyes is right. You all just passed through the map loading point. I see. Oh god, you guys, this is gonna be a complicated murder. It's already, like, super complicated without somebody dying right now. In some games, if you go in a building, it'll take a moment for the inside to fully load. Well, the outside is like that too, because the virtual world is divided into two large maps. This wavy line represents where the two maps meet. Think of these two maps as their two different rooms. In the same way, you have to go through the door to move between two rooms. To move between two maps, you have to pass through the map loading point. Then, is that why we can't see past that point on the binoculars on the roof? Ah. Obviously, you can't see what's inside one room when you're standing inside the other. Oh, oh a map loading point. <laughs> How fun! So not only does your sight get cut off, but the sound cuts off too. Uh huh. Ah. Yeah, you can't hear anything at all while you're inside the map loading point. So no sound goes through either. All right. So the chapel is over here, right? Well, I'm gonna go on ahead then. Hey, don't just go on ahead. I don't trust you being off alone by yourself. I told you. It's because you pay attention to him that you're more likely to be tricked. Okay, I'll cut that out of the video. There was nothing to be seen over there. <laughs> Places in the virtual world. Listen up! Let's split up and look for the secret of the outside world. Ah. Oh, so we're splitting up, huh? That's probably better. Mm -hmm. I wonder what the secret of the outside world could be. Mm. Monokuma did not give us much information about it either. Actually, are we going to be able to find it if we don't even know what it is? There's no point in asking whether we'll find it or not. We just gotta do it. Ah. Yeah, that's right. Just keep an eye out for anything suspicious and it's bound to turn up. Hmm. It sounds like we have a difficult task ahead of us, but I guess we'll have to see it through. Ah. Oh yeah, before we split up, I wanna ask you something, Mew. Two 
whispering about. Piece of shit! Mind your own business, Titless. Quit sticking your pot belly where it doesn't belong. I definitely don't. I don't have a pot belly. I definitely don't have a pot belly. But you're not denying that first part? Well, so, who's going to decide how we split up? Leave it to me! Just leave it to me! I'll figure out how everyone should split up in a flash. Wait! No, no, no! Hold up! I'll decide that! I know this world better than any of you, so I'll decide! I see. Oh, you sure? Sure! I know. I want you to search the rooftop of the mansion. What? Huh? Why do I gotta go up to the rooftop? It's freaking cold out there. Hmm. Yeah, there's no way the faint-hearted Kaito could search in the cold. All right. He's uh, tricking him. But what are they setting up? What's going on? All right. Bring it on. But all I gotta do is search the rooftop, right? Kichi really don't seem to get along. Well then. Kokichi, you're in charge of the salon. But that's the where you can leave. Okay. Okay, got it. We need about three more people to search the mansion. Doesn't matter who. This plan became sloppy all of a sudden. Oh, I see. Then Gonta should come with me. We can search the mansion surroundings since no one else wants to deal with the cold. Mm. Okay, Gonta, come with you. Yeah. Mm hmm. A true gentleman must always volunteer to do the dirty work. Oh, my. So, you're just going to use Gonta again. I've decided. I'm going that way, too. I have to make sure you're not abusing poor Gonta. All right. We need one more for mansion duty. Shuichi, come with us. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Is Maki upset because she's all by herself now? Even if I asked her, I suspect she would just ask me if I wanted to die again. I should keep quiet for now. Booyah! All right, everyone else, stick with me here and then travel and look for the secret. I understand. So, Himiko, Maki, Mew, and myself. Understood. All right. Let's go back to the mansion. We gotta find the secret of the outside world. Maki roll! Do a good job, Maki roll! Hey, so... Hey, is Maki roll mad? Shuichi, did you do something? Oh, I thought she was going to say something. She's actually mad. Mm. Yeah, it was so worth searching here. It's going to take a lot of effort since I can't use my magic. Leave it to me. Leave this side to us. We'll leave the other side to you. And we should probably keep an eye on Kokichi just in case. Okay. Good idea. I'll be careful. Hey, so... Shuichi, what'd you do to mock your role? If you know, you better apologize, okay? Uh, um... Yeah. Oh, well then. I guess I'm not supposed to... talk to anyone there. All right. Did everyone cross the bridge? Okay then, let's head to the mansion together. My hand slip. Uh, uh, what are you doing? Uh. What is going on? I just came here to see you guys off, and my hand accidentally slipped. Don't screw around. <laughs> that was obviously on purpose. Uh. It wasn't on purpose at all. It was an accident. If you keep talking shit like that, you'll only ever attract ugly bitches. You want to spend the rest of your life surrounded by ugly bitches, dumbass? <sighs> That's not even an insult. I'm famous for attracting ugly people. Uh, um, what are they fighting about? I've met a lot of people up till now, but I've never met someone so messed up. Shit! 
<laughs> seriously, that... Seriously, that girl is so much trouble. Sorry. Oh, sorry, there was one more person here. But... What are the people in the chapel gonna do? I will have no way to get across. Huh? Oh, you're right. We can only log out from the salon in the mansion. Well, maybe Mew can fix it later. Let's just get to the mansion already. What are these two up to? We'll deal with them later. First, we gotta find out the secret of the outside world. The secret of the outside world. I can't imagine what it could be. All I can do is hope that it means a way out. Gunta and Kaito are gonna check the mansion surroundings and rooftop. I'll go to the salon. So can the plain pair, Smoogie and Shuichi, go plainly search the dining hall and kitchen? Sorry. Sorry, Shuichi. It's my fault you got plain paired with me. Hey, right? But everybody knows that the plain pair is just plain dangerous. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know about that. Um... What's wrong with Gonta? I'm... Is he... Is he upset about... Is he upset about not being able to help? He's just been getting more and more upset. Gonta, go now. Uh, it's surprisingly cold out there, so be careful. You should come back here to warm up. It's okay. Thank you, but Gonta, okay. Gonta, not smart enough to get sick. Come on, man. Someone who isn't smart wouldn't want to save everyone. They'd only think of themselves. Mm. Oh, thank you. Hey. Okay, let's stop the fun chit chat and go back to looking for the secret of the outside world. But we don't know what's waiting for us, so we gotta be very careful, okay? Uh, okay. Alright, we'll start searching too. Oh, I think I did that in Kaito's voice. Alright, we'll start searching too. Yeah, I wanna hurry and find it. Yeah, I wanna hurry and find the secret of the outside world so we can go back. I wanna go back to my real body. Well, these avatars aren't that bad, you know. Huh? Huh? These avatars? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. It's a joke. I'm just joking. I'm gonna check the rooftop. You guys better not slack off! Gonta! Gonta, go now too! Hey! Shweech, we should go too! Okay. Yeah, let's go. Alright. Um, so I'll check the dining room. Can you please check the kitchen, Shweechy? Leave it to me. Right, the kitchen is over the air. I know we're supposed to be searching for the secret of the outside world. What is it? An object? Something else entirely? Well, I suppose I should search everywhere. Look for anything suspicious. I searched every nook and cranny in the kitchen, but... looked everywhere, but I didn't find anything suspicious. Perhaps I missed something. I'll look one more time. It was a waste of time. I found nothing. Hmm. It's been a while, but I can't find anything. If I haven't found anything even after all of this, it can't be in the kitchen. What should I do now? Search somewhere else? Shuichi? No. I didn't find anything. How about you? <sighs> the same. I checked every corner, but I didn't find a thing. I'm starting to wonder if there's even something actually hidden here. Was Monokuma just lying? The way Monokuma was talking certainly was suspicious. <laughs> well, Monokuma, did you prepare some sort of bait for us? Oh, bait? Yeah, of course I have! 
Is your curiosity piqued? Then you have no choice but to go. Yeah, we want to know, so we'll definitely go. Miss Kokichi was staring that conversation, which I knew. Why would he do that? Oh, by the way, there's something that's been bothering me. That's... Hmm? Something bothering you? Um, yeah. It might have just been my imagination, but... There's a small window in the dining room. Maybe ten minutes ago, I looked through it. And I saw... Him, and I thought I saw Mew. Huh? You saw Mew? But she should be in the chapel. Yeah. And the bridge fell, so she shouldn't be able to get over here, right? That's why I thought it was just my imagination, but I figured I should say something. Oh, no. Huh? Uh, what? What? What was that sound? No. It sounded as if something was struck very hard. It came from outside, but... Smoogie, let's go. Look. What was that? Yeah. Um, nothing's different in here. It seems like the sun came from outside after all. Entrance hall, something outside, perhaps? Maybe. Maybe that was. Maybe that sound was something falling off the roof? But the person on the roof is. What should we do? For now, let's go outside and check. <gasps> oh, oh no. no. Oh, please don't be Kaito. Oh, oh no. Huh? What? What? That was Kibo's voice, right? I think I heard him outside. He sounded close. Why? But Kibo should be in the chapel. Why? Um, anyway, let's go outside. It'll be faster to see it for ourselves. Uh, okay. R right. Hopefully it's not Gunta either, because he was outside too, wasn't he? Oh no. Oh. Okay, it's Gunta. Oh, Shuichi and Sumugi. Gonta. Gonta, did you see Kibo around here anywhere? No. No, no. Gonta not see him. Um, huh? you didn't, but I heard his voice close by. Then did something fall off the roof? You heard that loud noise, right? Um... Oh, oh Gonta hear noise, but Gonta not see anything. Huh? Huh? What could that mean? I thought I heard the sound in Kibo's voice close by. But Gonta didn't see anything? What about Kaito? He should have heard from the roof. He would have run over here right away. What's going on? Hey! Hey, Shuichi, what does all this mean? Some strange occurrences. Alright, my talent is solving mysteries. So that's what I'm going to do. Alright! We need to figure out why Kibo screamed. Let's head to the chapel. Something might have happened there. Um, yeah, you're right! Hmm. I'm guessing maybe... Maybe the maps are set up so that way the interior of the building is in the same loading sound area as the chapel side, maybe? Maybe that's why we also could see Mew. Maybe? Wait a minute, I need to talk to Gonta. Are you okay, man? No way. What happened? Did something happen to Kibo? Well, that's... Let's go to the chapel. Alright. Shuichi! Shuichi, perfect timing! Is there anything over there that can serve as a bridge? What? Huh? Kibo's over here? Huh? Kibo's over there! What was that shouting I heard earlier? Well... Hey, we should hurry and find something else to replace the bridge with. Right. Yeah, we might be able to make it in time. Huh? Make it in time? What do you mean? Hey! What happened? Why are you guys making such a scene? Kokichi! Kokichi! Um... I didn't see anyone in the dining room, so I went to look for you guys. <laughs> 
Looks like everyone's in trouble now that Miu dropped the bridge. Kokichi. Th this is no time for laughter. We need to find a replacement bridge. Ah. Oh, but the bridge is over here, you know. Huh? What? <laughs> Come on, over here. Alright. Anyway, let's go. Kokichi told us, so now I'm worried. But let's just wait and see what happens. See, the signboard stuck on that folder is the same one you dropped, right? Oh, yeah! You're right, it got swept all the way here. Allow Gunta. Leave it to Gunta. Gunta just need to carry signboard. All right. Now that that's dealt with, let's head back to where everyone else is. Oh, they're here. Um. So Gonto just need to put board over river. But board is so thin, will it be okay? What if board breaks this top? You get it? It may be thin, but it's made of sturdy wood. So can you just hurry up and put the bridge down? Got it. O okay, got it. What happened? What's wrong? What happened over there? Well, I'll explain later, but we need to log out right now. Huh? Log out? Oh? Huh? Where's Mew? <laughs> Something happened to her! <laughs> if only this could be what I want it to be. Huh? What do you mean? Well... We're not sure, but her avatar isn't moving. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> oh, I can feel it. It's a happy Thanksgiving for Mina. Maybe something happened in the real world that's preventing her from moving it. Th this looks real bad, guys. Okay, let's head to the salon and log out ASAP. Hey. Hey, where's Kaito? Well, that's... Uh, Kaito, I, I don't know. I ran here as fast as I could. I didn't check the roof. What? You didn't even bother going to the roof to get him. Than I thought. Huh? Huh? Shuichi! Shuichi, let's hurry! Um. Maki, did you check the rooftop? He wasn't there. Huh? He wasn't there? I told you. He was on the roof. I tried calling for him, but there was no answer. Then. Where did he go? What's the point? He probably logged out first by himself. Don't worry, he's stupid enough to get himself... But don't worry, he's stupid enough to get himself killed, but I know he won't really die. Uh-oh. I suppose that's true. I don't have to worry about him. I have to hurry and log out. I have to check on Mew. Shuichi! Hold on, Shuichi, we can only log out one person at a time. Um... Going to have next turn. Um, so going to just say name and phone and someone come get him. Hmm. Who cares? Just do it already. Going to... Um, going to Gokuhara. Ah! Oh. He disappeared. So that's what logging out looks like. So the avatars disappear when we log out. But Mew's avatar is still here and unmoving, right? What does that mean? Um, anyway, let's hurry and go back. Um, so looking Shirogane. Right? Oh, Shuichi, you can log out before me. I'm sure your detective's intuition is kicking in, right? So, go on ahead. Is there a reason? Like, you don't want to say your name or something in front of everyone? See? Shuichi! Oh, wait. Now that we're alone, I want to tell you something. Huh? What is it? <laughs> You're really useful. Huh? Huh? Hey! 
So, how about you stop hanging out with dumb old Kaito and be my friend instead? I think I can be useful to you too, you know. I can help you save everyone. And you want to save everyone, right? I'm Shuichi Sahara. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got rejected, but I won't give up that easily. When I find someone I like, I'll do anything to get them to notice me, even strangle them. What was that about? Ugh. When I opened my eyes, I could only see black. I was logged out. The helmet on my head was blocking my vision. When I realized that, I quickly reached up to grab the helmet and pull it off. But when I did, a nauseating sight was waiting for me. Please. <laughs> uh, serves you right! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! All right, I'm back. <laughs> so, um, before I continue, uh, I was already thinking this, but they had Kokichi staying inside the 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 call room or whatever the the uh, the salon. So that prevented anybody from logging out, besides him. Unless he left that room unattended at some point. Plus, he already talked about strangulation. That, he didn't do this, though. Because that's too easy. That's far too easy. This is Danganronpa. And we are not taking the easy route. So... How did someone kill her? How did someone kill her? This is... All right, this is going to be confusing. I can already tell that this is going to be a tough one. Because it's not Kokichi. No, I I wouldn't believe that. I already determined he's not going to kill. I'm just, I'm, I'm a little confused. <clears throat> Muse cold, dead body. All right. Daybreak. The sun had risen while we were the sun had risen while we were inside the virtual world. Um, where's Kaito? Ding dong dong ding <laughs> A body has been discovered! Everyone, please report to the computer room! Wait, you're already here. Wow! I get to bring you the body discovery announcement live! <laughs> Doing it live is great! Better than a beer. <laughs> Doing it live is great! Better than beer and fucking. Huh? Daddy, have you always had such a potty mouth? I was holding back because we already had one vulgar cast member, but now it's my time to shine. That's nice. Thankfully, I'm adorable, so I can get away with saying all kinds of crude stuff. <laughs> Yay! I finally get to be a foul-mouthed asshole. Yeah! What a vulgar last wife. Hey. What's wrong, Monitor? You're just staring blankly at the body. Oh, he was calling her mom, wasn't he? Announcement as we stared at Mew, dumbfounded. Just stared at Mew's corpse. That's terrible. It's terrible. Why did it end up like this? Why? Mew. Well, why? Well, I 
What's going on? All I was a Mew kill. <laughs> Konto not understand either. You like this when Konto wake up. Why? Hey, what's going on? Why this happen? Yeah. Well, it's obvious a murder happened. Huh? M murder? Weird. What do you mean? Did something happen while going to sleep? No. We weren't asleep, and that wasn't a dream. We were in the virtual world. Hey. Hey, where's Kaido? Oh, that's right, Kaido. As if on cue, we heard footsteps running fast down the hallway, the sound growing louder until the door burst open. Hey! What's this all about? What was that body discovery announce? What? Mew? What the hell is going on here? Ah. You're too late, okay? All the others finished gasping in terror already. By the way. By the way. But anyway, where were you this whole time, Kaido? What were you doing? So... I, I was just taking a nap. Huh? Taking a nap? Um... You were sleeping. Gunta was sleeping too. Had strange dream. Gunta not understand anything. Um. As I said, that was the virtual world. Which means. So you logged out by yourself and then took a nap without our permission. You know. I suddenly got logged out. Before I realized it, I was back here. Uh, um. You were logged out involuntarily. Yeah, I didn't know if it was okay to log back in, so I went to my room and slept. Damn it. And when that body discovery announcement woke me up, I rushed over here. <laughs> hey, Kaito, if you're gonna lie, then you might as well do it better. Do you think you can make the killing game more exciting with a crappy lie like that? Hold on! It's not a lie, I really was sleeping. Hey! Hold on a minute, we can discuss whether or not that's a lie later. What we need to do right now is begin the investigation. We need to discover who killed Mew. <laughs> you seem ready. Well, of course you are. Why? One of your dear friends was killed, so it's finally time for you to shine. Hmm. Explain it however you'd like, Okichi. The fact is, if we don't find out who the culprit is, we'll all be executed. No. I won't let that happen. I'll find the culprit so we can all survive. Even if the culprit is Kaito. Don't screw around! Huh? What? Okay! Now, now! Please save your arguments for the class trial! In the meantime... Da, 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 da. The Monokuma file! With this, you can even investigate up Mew's asshole! Huh? huh? Even there? Now then. Well then, do your best! I'm certain you guys will make this turn of events very entertaining. Asshole! Wow. Daddy! Daddy seems to be really enjoying that dirty word. Mommy! Yeah. Okay, everyone, let's do this. I'll find the culprit this time no matter what. Hey! What are you being so cheery about? But... Well, what are you sad about? You guys hated her. Not as much as you hate me, but still. Actually, I, I hated her more than I hated you, <laughs> so. Stop it! That's not the issue. Of course I thought she was annoying and loud, but... I mean... I never wanted her to die. I wanted all of us... I wanted us all to escape together. Yes. Mew was certainly brash and spirited, but she wasn't a bad person. Listen closely. Believe me, I had her perform maintenance on my body, so I know. I know very well. Yeah, she wasn't a bad person, just... God, annoying. I want to cry, but I can't. I should have had Mew install a crying function. Oh. Huh, wouldn't your tears cause you to short circuit? No. Not at all. My body is completely waterproof. This isn't the time for that. Yeah. Oh, to no can forgive this. Going to never forgive this. Never forgive culprit either. Gonta, idiot. But going to never forgive self. Going to swear to protect everyone. But going to fail to protect Mew. Going to no could protect anyone again. 
going to is fill your gentlemen. I'm so tired of this awful feeling. I have to do something. I can't let this. Shuichi, Shuichi don't carry the burden all by yourself. Huh? Huh? Listen up. You're my sidekick. Don't forget. Yeah. We're gonna do this together. If we work together, we can solve this. Ah. No way, Jose. What? What? Well, you know. Shuichi is the most reliable person in a class trial, you know. Why would we let such an important person work together with a suspect like you? Huh? Suspect? You're saying that if I was the culprit, Shuichi would hide the truth to protect me? Don't screw around. Bullshit! Don't underestimate Shuichi. Even if I was the culprit, he's the type of guy that, that'd see things through. Hmm. But, remember Kaede's class trial? Shut up! He saw us through that, didn't he? I believe in Shuichi. Uh, okay. Kaito. <laughs> <laughs> you love to believe, don't you, Kaito? You really don't get it. But that belief can turn against you, especially in this killing game, you know. <laughs> I've got no idea what you're talking about. I don't get it at all. Fine. If you're gonna get all worked up over it, then me and Chuichi won't team up. But, but don't worry about it. Don't worry. It's just for now. <laughs> but hearing him say all that, I can't stay quiet. I believe in you. That said, try to get through this on your own. Clear me of suspicion with your own power. I've, I've done it on my own, and <laughs> actually this whole way through. I have no idea who did this though. It's not Kokichi. <laughs> <laughs> if you can be cleared. I don't like this at all. It feels like another one of Kokichi's tricks. Of course, this is Kaito we're talking about. Nothing I could say could change his mind. Regardless, only one thing I can do. I can't be afraid. I can't get lost now. In order to protect everyone, I have to do something. I had to do something. 